Um, I do feel like I play on a character sometimes. Uh, I would say I'm Doja when I'm lit and I'm making music, but in my personal life, I'm definitely somebody else. I'm just Amala. Um, I'm always goofy though. I really don't know. I don't even know if I figured that out yet. So, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I would say my album is definitely a mixture of, of pop and um, R&B and a lot of different uh, sort of sounds. I do kind of have a worldly sound that's been developing. Like I do a lot of African inspired like uh, melodies in the background and stuff. That's just kind of a thing that naturally happens. Um, but it's been more and more since I've been working on this album. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was crazy. I I was smoking a lot. I was smoking a lot of weed as a kid. I just remember going to the studio and not really knowing like what it's like to be at a studio. I didn't like have training or anything like that. I just went there and then I would make music every single day. And for some people, I don't know, for some reason people just liked it. And then it, it went crazy and I was doing shows and then I kind of stopped. I like took a break when I got sober and I was just making music every day on live and uh, uh, for like 10 hours at a time every single day. Um, and people would be like, why are you on still? Like I literally went to sleep and woke up and you're still on live, like what? It kind of took off from there because when I got sober, I started making more music and I was just really consistent. I'm still super consistent. So with this album, it's similar kind of to the last album in the sense that there's a lot of like genre mixing, um, but this one, it's more evolved and it's more aware I feel like I'm more aware of what I'm doing musically in this one like I have you can really tell that the ideas were everything's very complete like I just I feel like when I was making each of these songs I was making them and I love them every moment that I was making them like the whole way through it really I feel like it shows and I'm yeah I'm just excited to put that out because I'm super proud of it So Hot Pink came from me kind of, more of my visual side, like I, it's my favorite color first, but uh, I, I feel like that color just describes, it, it's definitely a color that describes sort of like passion, love, sex, anger, and I feel like this project is that. I feel like all those emotions are that color. I I feel like it was the perfect thing for this album. It's also just like a really cool, like the word kind of looks good on stuff too, so. So the guy that I work with, he uh, sampled Blink-182 for a bottom bitch. And he really was excited about that. And he's also just like my best friend. So he was kind of like, oh, this song is so good. And I was like, all right, great. And then he was like, let's put it out as a single. I'm like, all right, great. And then, so we put it out and we did a video to it. And I was really excited about it mostly because I, I skateboard and I'm not that good. Like people call me a poser. Like I skate, but I'm not like a perfect, I'm not, that's not what I'm trying, I'm a musician or whatever, singer. Um, but, I really wanted to do a cool video that just felt like something from my childhood and something that felt like me and not just like a rapper girl who has that butt, you know? So I did that and then because of that and then with Juicy, um, Juicy was, Juicy is definitely the first song that I've ever put out behind a label that I'm 100% confident about, that I feel like is a finished song, that's a, a refined version of, of my sound, and uh, I just love the song so much. So yeah, that's pretty much why. Like 
they're very fun. Usually it's like on a whim. Like we don't know what is gonna happen every time. So that's kind of what makes it exciting. Um, but it's, it, it's a lot of just random. Th we never like think of like political things. Sometimes it sounds like that. Like I make like feminist music, but I really just make music. I don't really like to try to think too hard about what I'm about to write about before I write it. I kind of just think of like a word, like booty, like, and then boom, then that song, and then Tia T boobs, and then Tia Tamara came out. And sometimes I wish I was a little bit more like poetic and like thought harder maybe sometimes, but like for the most part, I just go in and I and I have fun. And I think more about the rhythm and the, the sound, like what it would sound like more so than the message. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. While you're here, check out these other videos.